안녕하십니까 어, 지금부터 저희들이 스마트 TV 관련해 가지고 글로벌 트렌드를 주제로 하는 세션 2를 시작하겠습니다 저는 이 세션 2 자장을 맡은 KT의 이우승입니다 저기 글로벌 트렌드를 소개하게 되어서 대단히 어, 기쁘게 생각합니다 이 세션 자체는 저기 동시 통역이 되니까 리시브 채널 1으로 동시 통역 진행해 보시면 되겠습니다 지금 첫 번째 강연을 맡아주신 그 닥터 장 와이후아 분은 저희들 특이하게 중국에서 저기 그 무슨 쪽에 어 학사와 석사를 하시고 우리나라에서 저기 박사를 했습니다. 이나대학교에서 어 박사를 하셨는데 정보통신 분야로 박사를 하셨고 지금은 이 트렌드 쪽 분야인 IGRS 쪽에 지금 어 바이스 디렉터로 계십니다. 어, 장, 과이, 후아, 저기, 박사님을 소개합니다. I will introduce to Mr. Dr. Zhang. Dr. Zhang? Yes. yes. Okay. <웃음> Next page. Next page. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Next page. First page. Okay. <웃음> 大家好，我是张，来自爱尔兰。我是来自爱尔兰。我是来自爱尔兰。我是来自爱尔兰。我是来自爱尔兰。我是来自爱尔兰。我是来自爱尔兰。我是来自爱尔兰。我是来自爱
we can know what the Chinese smart TV players are doing in these days. In these days. Let's talk about story. Uh, from uh, story begins from 2003. At that time, uh, most of Chinese TV are CRT TV. But from that year, uh, uh, the plan, uh, PF, uh, PF TV start uh, launched it to market because the the uh, FP TV, uh, flight plan plan, plan TV, is very uh, good in stats for the user. So to the year of 2008, uh, a lot of uh, FP TV launched to market. But in the year of 2008, there are there uh, very uh, great event happened in Beijing, it's Beijing Olympic Games. So Chinese government want to launch uh, digital TV at that year. So from the year of 2008 to 2009, uh, from the digital TV to uh, internet TV, it happened. Internet TV means that TV can connect to internet by broadband cable TV network. And uh, by this internet TV, the user can uh, download some videos and uh, online update and uh, play some network games. But in this kind of TV, the user cannot install any applications. Then to the year of 2009, uh, some open system, uh, some, self uh, some uh, early smart TV launched to the market. I call this early smart TV because they, they are at this TV, there's still no open system. And uh, only a few available ap applications can be installed. So uh, the MMI are not good. So I tried to install some applications at my TV at that time and feel the, the experience is very horrible. So, uh, but that the, it all changed uh, just one year later because the uh, SOC technologies uh, improved and the uh, Android, Android systems is provided to TV. So from year of 2010, I saw uh, we, we think the smart TV era comes. Uh, in this smart TV, uh, voice and somatic MI is proper, pro are provided, and uh, some TV manufacturers provided open APP stores with rich applications. And most of this smart TV has two systems. The first is Android, another is Linux. So the user can enjoy the traditional TV contents and uh, you can enjoy the, the new application and the new uh, digital TV contents by the one TV set. And uh, at this time, multi-screen interaction or on-screen interaction is provided at this time. And because the SOC chips environment uh, improvement, uh, the high hardware configurations is provided so the, the, the operation uh, speed becomes very fast and uh, you can play some games and you can feel much more better than the year of 2009. Also, we have four backgrounds for smart TVs market. First is our Chinese government's policy. Uh, from the year of 2010, the Chinese government proposed a three network convergence policy. This three network convergence policy means uh, Chinese government want to integrate uh, broadcasting network, telecommunication network, and the internet into one network. And as a government policy, uh, a lot of companies enter the smart TV ma market. A second uh, background is because uh, long time of development of internet TV and digital TV. So a lot of manufacturers has uh, a lot of uh, experience in the digital TV, TV's R&D, so they are very easy to, uh, to change, to immigrate from the internet TV to smart TV. The third one is come from outside, because uh, Google and Apple has start to launch their TV to market, and uh, because the development of uh, OS and SOC means the TV industry come into the smart era. This means that uh, hardware and software provided a, um, a, a possibility to the Chinese uh, smart TV market. The, 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 the first one is uh, that most of our TV manufacturers see the paradigm of mobile terminal evolution. Because I can, we can see the from feature 
phone to smartphone to smart terminal. Only several years, uh, a whole, whole mobile phone industry changed from a feature era to a smart era. And at this time, if, if the smart TV industry doesn't follow such a kind of, uh, such a kind of smart, uh, smartization uh, progress, maybe they will, they will lose in the future, just like Nordia. So based on these four, four background, the Chinese smart TV market uh, welcomes to a, a, a boom development in the, next, uh, in the last uh, several years. Uh, I gave you some uh, investigation data. Uh, in, the year, in the first six months of, two, of, of this year, there are 6.912 million and 4.6 billion US dollar FPTV sold is, are sold in, in this uh, six months, and 1.639 million and 1.54 billion US dollar smart TV is sold. So this compared to the last year, uh, it is 193% uh, up. So I think it's, uh, it's a big number. number. Also, in this, all this sealed, uh, sealed volume, Chinese brand occupies 89% of the market sales. And uh, till now, the market penetration rate is about 32% in, the, uh, in September of, this, uh, of 2012. Uh, this, this ABC in investigation company gave us a prediction that by the end of this year, it, uh, pe uh, penetration rate will be will reach 34%. And uh, I show you this, this three brands. It's uh, first three manufacturers. First is uh, Changhong, second is TCL, and the third one is Konka. These three manufacturers occupy 60% of the market shares. I give you an example of Changhong, because Changhong is the first uh, leader in Chinese uh, smart TV market. Uh, I think uh, the first uh, six months in, uh, in this year, Changhong uh, sold 334,000 of, of TV sets. Compared to uh, the same duration of last year, it is uh, four times, more than four times. And the retail brand share is 20% 20, 20 and ranked the first in the Chinese market. Also from the July, from July, a Changhong Smart TV retail brand share raised to 20.6%, still keep uh, industry leading position. Uh, until now, the Changhong has launched uh, 332 Smart TV uh, models, and uh, among them, 100 of them are launched this year. So I can see, we can see he, the Changhong launched uh, uh, has uh, so much of uh, um, so many of smart TV products. I want to talk about uh, the uh, smart TV, not only in uh, smart, uh, a, a TV or a non not only a device. I think uh, just like the professor John said this morning, uh, the smart TV should con uh, contain some uh, service. So I must talk about the uh, Chinese smart STB market and the uh, tablet market. In the first uh, three seasons, in China, a smart TV is sold. Uh, 1.6 million of smart STBs are sold, and uh, uh, 70 million of tablets are sold in the first uh, nine months. Uh, by this smart STB, you can, you can change the a traditional non-smart TV to uh, a, a newest uh, smart TV. So if a person, if a family buy a smart STB, I can see uh, this, this family has a smart TV and they can accept uh, any smart TV services. Also by the tablet, um, because uh, the on-screen interaction uh, application is installed, is installed in the tablet. So you can use this tablet to, con to uh, to enjoy the, 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 the screen sharing application. And this, by this application, you can share this, all these smart uh, applications on your TV. Give you a market forecasting. 
uh, I, I computed uh, by a simple, uh, I just uh, gave a simple computation. By the end of 2011, China has 400 million sets of CRT TV and 140 million sets of FPTV. But uh, China government plan to shut down all on the analog TV signal by 2015. So 80% of the current CRT TV will be replaced by the FPTV. Um, by a simple computation, we can know that uh, in the year of 2015, uh, yearly sales should reach eight, more than 80 million sets of smart TV, uh, of TV and uh, the compound grow growth rate of 2012 to 2015 should be over 15%. In the smart TV industry chain, we can, we, we analyzed this and find that there are two industry chains. First is uh, maybe mainly in the service aspect. Uh, in this industry chain, include the uh, content provider and the service provider and uh, the service platform and operator and a user. And the other aspect is uh, meaning a uh, device aspect. This means the TV, the hardware parts provider and the software developer and the many integrator manufacturers and the user. Um, both of these uh, industry chains can provide uh, new opportunities to the smart TV market player. Uh, for uh, most uh, opportunities are located in upstream content provider and provide pro platform provider and upstream parts provider and some manufacturers. Okay. For the technical area, uh, smart TV SOC are improved these days. And so the, the ability becomes higher and higher. So smart uh, so by this, uh, the, uh, the uh, Smart TV SOC can provide the much more application functions, uh, much more uh, computation abilities. But uh, uh, centralized by this SOC, uh, there are a lot of other devices is connected, uh, is connected with Smart TV industry. For example, high definition camera for uh, somatic recognition and the whole quality microphone for voice recognition and the Wi-Fi modules. Uh, so this, this, all these uh, aspects are, con are, are related to the smart TV hardware. Uh, so uh, additionally, more and more connectors are required in the smart TV. I, I can see the, now the, the Chinese smart TV's uh, SOC are uh, mainly the, the, the newest one are dual core 3.6 gigahertz uh, uh, CPU and 8 gigabits uh, memory. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a very fast and a very big memory. Maybe in the next few years it become quad core or maybe more memories. And we investigate uh, the smart TV software status and uh, we found uh, a lot of troubles. Com uh, firstly, uh, 36% of person, person people are not satisfied with current OS. And for the applications, 30% of people think there are few, too few applications for TV. And uh, even they want to install some applications for the smartphone uh, to TV, it cannot run on the TV. Uh, and uh, even it can be can be run on TV because the uh, remote remote is uh, very limited function nullity. So you cannot run you cannot play the games on TV with a simple remote. So there are also 26 percent people say that operation is very bad. It means that uh, the, the, the running the operation speed is very slow and the network connection is very slow and the content. It's not uh, not enough, so uh, we we investigate uh, uh, cloud. How about the cloud in smart TV? And only seventy percent of consumers uh, know this cloud can be run on TV, and know the cloud can, uh, and uh, think they are interested in the cloud. So con so in summary, we think uh, connection and share is a very is a key of the uh, smart TV's future. 
uh, because by uh, because e TV is uh, has a limited limited performance and it has a fig it cannot move and uh, it, but it has a huge screen. So if we can uh, connect our mobile phone and a and a tablet and a remote control to the TV, it can provide much more uh, applications and we can support multiple brands uh, terminal. Uh, much more brand terminals, and uh, we we they, they, by this uh, interaction interaction applications, you can enjoy much more contents and applications on your TV. So 46% 46 of the consumers hope to share their results between the different brands of smart TV. Uh, so we we think the results sharing and the device interaction are much more important to TVs. Um, several TV manufacturers gave me their, their future plans that uh, show that there are three aspects for them to development in the next uh, smart TV market and the technology. First uh, is the uh, application. Uh, most of the TV manufacturers provided uh, their own Certified, uh, certified uh, applications for their TV. Also, they has uh, open APP stores for the others for third parties APP provider. Uh, so this is uh, one uh, first aspect. Another aspect is uh, uh, software development and hardware development. The third one is the A MMI and uh, multi-screen functions. They provided the voice, somatic, and gesture control to the TV and the multi-screen functions for the screen, for the, for the smart TV. I give some examples for the most uh, recently uh, strategy of the Chinese uh, uh, TV manufacturers. First is Lenovo. Lenovo is not a traditional TV manufacturer. It is a PC manufacturer. But uh, now uh, Lenovo has launched a smart terminal family strategy to the market. This means Lenovo not only provide a TV and PC, but also provide their mobile phone and, uh, and a TV. Uh, Lenovo uh, call this TV is Idea TV, like uh, they call their phone is Idea Phone. By this Idea TV, Idea Phone, and their Idea PC, it can uh, construct a smart family, and you can share everything in all these terminals. Changhong, also Changhong. Changhong has a smart living style strategy. It's want to, put, want to promote their smart terminal families by this on-screen interaction. And uh, the, in the last year, Changhong's uh, Siri voice recognized nation uh, remote remoter uh, gains uh, big success. You can speak Chinese to this remote and the TV can know what you are meaning. And also Changhong are promoting their, their semantic, uh, uh, semantic control of the TV. So that's why Changhong becomes uh, the number one of the Chinese market. TCL is the number two of the Chinese market and TCL mainly focus on the, sm the smart cloud so they want to, they, they built a cloud, the, Changhong, the TCL's cloud service and provided the cloud, cloud recognition, cloud control, cloud sharing, cloud office, cloud search, and cloud social. Everything they want to uh, run on the cloud set and then it can be displayed on the smart TV. Hisense is also a big player in China uh, Hisense build is ITV and Levi smart strategy. So I, I, this ITV is not a real con traditional con conception of TV. It's it's this one. It, it's exactly a a tablet. By this tablet, you can you can you can display the TV's contents in this small screen, or you can also display screen the the contents of this small screen to the big screen. Then it it realized the uh, full interaction of uh, TV and this content, this tablet. 
uh, most of the TV manufacturers works on other side uh, is, is, is a technical extension. For example, uh, several TV manufacturers uh, manu uh, build, uh, pro produce their, their home gateway and uh, they also con uh, integrated the home gateway functions into their smart TV. Then the smart TV can become the home entertainment center or home information center. You can see uh, your, your uh, air conditions uh, running status uh, by your TV or you can control everything by your TV. So this is some extension technologies. IGS Alliance is the uh, 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 standardization alliance based in China. Now we have 179 members from all over the world, including Korean, and Japan, and uh, American, and so many countries. Uh, till now, we have more than 30 uh, products released, and uh, over 50 million units is launched to the market. In the, our members have occupied the market share of uh, 84.3 in the Chinese TV market. Our result is seven international standards is published by ISO IEC in February this year. All these standards form the, form, forms, uh, form the uh, a system of uh, home uh, information sharing system. So based on these standards, we propose the Omni Enjoy services. This Omni Enjoy services is a well, multi-screen application and a service which uses IGRS technologies to realize uh, data sharing and uh, uh, among the different screens in their home. Uh, I, I will give a simple predict to, uh, to, the, to the future. And, uh, as we can see, the, in, the, in the year of two, this, this year, we have the market penetration rate of three, uh, 34%, and we can predict that to the, to the end of next year, is this, this number will become 58%. Uh, and uh, uh, we found that internet enterprises enter the smart TV industry. This is a new trend in this year. And uh, QQ, QQ is the uh, most famous instant messaging system in China. And the QQ's company means uh, Tencent. Uh, the name is Tencent. Tencent uh, and the TCL cooperated in manufactured a uh, 26-inch uh, tablet because the Chinese government has a policy that uh, no, nobody can, nobody can uh, manufacture a TV without a license, but the QQ hasn't such kind of license. So he, so he made a tablet but it's, uh, it's a huge screen, and uh, exactly I think it is a uh, smart TV. QQ embedded uh, his uh, in instant messaging functions in this TV, and uh, by this method, QQ entered the smart TV market. Le TV is another uh, terminal manufacturers. They build, uh, they mainly product, uh, they mainly pro produce uh, the smart uh, STB, but now uh, they integrated platform and content and uh, their are little TV applications and the little TV terminal. And by integrating all these four aspects, the little TV entered the China smart TV market. Lenovo also has a strategy of PC Plus. Uh, this PC Plus means they, they, can, they want to integrate the PC and TV and uh, their mobile phone together to pro provide the uh, integrated service. So all this um, new trend mean, means uh, internet enterprises and PC manufacturers enter the smart TV industries. So this TV industry, smart TV industries, uh, not only in the, not only in for the traditional TV manufacturers, but but also provided to the other uh, new players. For the applica application side, we think the future technique technology development will focus on the multi-screen interaction and the SNS functions. But for the hardware side, we think, our uh, TV system side, we think the, the next trend is multi-core CPU and next L3D and 4K displaying and H.265 technologies. 
Uh, for software, maybe it will support Android 4 and Windows 8. Uh, now, the, 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 the hot topics in China's, China's smart TV market is, uh, first one is operation experience. Uh, most of TV manufacturers try to improve the MMI experience. For example, provided more um, convenience, somatic voice and gesture uh, input m functions, and also interactive functions are very hot issues in this in these years. Um, in the business mode, I think the TV smart TV will be will access the internet entertainment and will become the family information and the entertainment center in the next few years. I will give you a simple conclusion that the t smart TV industry will have a boom development in the next future. The development of smart TV is decided by the, not only the products but also a convergence of business products, uh, business mode, and uh, even by government policy. A smart STB and a tablet will show their values to become the non-smart TV into a smart TV. Uh, convergence is a key word for next Chinese smart TV market. There are two kinds of convergence. First is the industry convergence, means the PC manufacturers, broadcasting companies, internet CPSP, and traditional TV manufacturers will become players in the smart TV industry. And the smart TV is not only a business of traditional TV manufacturers, but also a business of other players. And another of con uh, aspect of convergence is the terminal and the content convergence. It means the internet content and the broadcasting content will be integrated in, uh, in the in smart TV industries, and, uh, and not only in the only, only the traditional broadcasting content. So internet uh, uh, service provider will enter the smart TV industries. This must be noticed by all of Chinese smart TV uh, industries. Thank you very much. It's, more, it's all. Thank you for your presentation, mm -hmm. Mr. Dr. Zhang. And uh, uh, anybody question? 혹시 질문 있으신 분 질문 해주셔도 됩니다. 한 10분 정도 일찍 끝나셨는데 어, 질문이 없으면 제가 질문 하나 해야 되겠습니다. 그래도 질문 안 하나도 안 하고 가면 십수하시니까 어, 닥터 장. Yes. Uh, I have question in China. Okay. China customers have why they Sorry, sorry, could you use this microphone? Yeah. I can, sorry. So, sorry. And uh, why they purchased the smart TV in China? Uh, uh. First of all, in, now I, I, I always go to the, the, the market to, saw, to, to see to saw what kind of TV are sold. But, and I, I think maybe in Beijing, 50% um, of the, 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 the TV are smart TV now mm -hmm. in market. So if you want to buy a non-smart TV, it's very difficult. A <laughs> second one is uh, smart TV. The price of smart TV is very cheap now mm -hmm. in China. Uh, a smart one and a non-smart one, maybe the price only, only the difference of price is less than ten dollars. So I think uh, for the user, it's, it's nothing ten dollars for them to buy a such a big one. Mm -hmm. So they want. Uh, they, most of the people want to buy a new model of TV, mm -hmm. so, uh, so they, of course, they will choose smart TV. The, another one, because the new, the new model of TV looks much better, and the, 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 sellers will, the, the, the sellers will show more uh, attractive functions, for example, play games for the customers or play some applications for the customers and the customers will be attracted by this kind of uh, amazing game. So they, mm -hmm. of course they want to buy this one. That's why I mm -hmm. think the Chinese customers want to buy this smart TV. Okay. Yeah, Is thank this? you. Uh, thank yes. you very much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. 아, 예. 제가 영어를 잘 못해서. Yeah, yeah. <웃음> okay. 시장 전망을 굉장히 그 2013년 58%까지 스마트 TV 예, 예. MS 간다고 하셨는데 
게다가 그 스마트 TV, 그러니까 TV 자체가 그 정도 팔린다는 건지 아니면 아까 셋업도 말씀해 주시고 하셨는데 셋업은 이런 걸다 포함해서 그렇게 네. 되는 건지 만약 그렇다면 뭐 스마트 TV하고 셋업 박스 그 비중은 어떻게 되는 거라고 보시는지 그게 좀 궁금해서 여쭤보시죠. 아 그거 하나요? 네. 하나. <웃음> he, he asked that is the, the uh, on your presentation you estimated the next year. Mm -hmm. 58% of the penetration mm -hmm. and that value is uh, included uh, what kind of value of it? for example the just the only smart TV and uh, just the uh, uh, included the, the setup also all, all together what uh, it means I think this penetration no, rate is not in, not included as uh, as TV only in the TV TV uh, smart TV as, yes only yeah. smart TV smart TV compared to the whole sales of TV mm. it's very big Huge. Oh, big. Yes, I think so. Yeah. Yes, no problem. <laughs> uh, exactly. I I have a I have a number of number of. Uh, okay. Yeah, slow, I slow. Fifty-eight percent of the penetration. Yes, I know that one. Yeah. I I just want to show you this number. Uh, I, I, I saw that this one is sold in the first six months, and I, I know that because you know the October 1st is Chinese National Day. And uh, during that, that uh, from the July to October, maybe there are more than 10 million TV is sold. Only in three or only in three months, uh, ten million is sold, and uh, this in, so so the selling data is much huge than this one in the in 2012, and also uh, in the new in the new market uh, in the new market most of the people will buy the smart TV, not a, a traditional TV. I think so. Just like. Just, just like what I have said, the, in the market, smart TV has occupied most of the market place. You can, if you want to buy a TV, uh, non-smart TV is seldom seen in the market. No, I'll do it. 지금 발표가 주로 이제 스마트 TV가 얼마 잘 팔리고 있느냐 그거에 대해 말씀을 하고 계시는데 제, 정작 제일 중요한 거는 얼마나 많은 사람들이 스마트 TV의 기능을 활용하고 있느냐가 중요한 것 같아요. 혹시 어, 그거에 대한 그 그러니까 예. 얼마나 많은 사람들이 스마트 TV의 기능을 활용하고 있느냐에 대한 통계가 있는지 좀 여쭤보겠습니다. Okay. Yeah, he questioned that uh, how many people, how many, mm. how many users uh, use the, the smart TV function? How many? Sorry, people? sorry, I, I, I still haven't such kind of data. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, for me, I have a smart TV, but uh, I only use that to, uh, to, uh, to browse some some website, but uh, never use the game, never play game on that. <laughs> use that. <laughs> sorry. 한국에서는 참고로 뭐한 2, 30%씩 액티베이션이 아. 많이 줄고 올라가고 있죠. 지금은. 근데 중국은 아직 조금 더 낮을 거예요. 네. 오케이. <웃음> <웃음> 저는 다른 질문이 있습니까? Anybody question? 오케이. Okay. Thank you for your presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Dr. Yang.